Good morning guys, happy Monday. Welcome to a new week in my life vlog. My name is Sonali and today I'm starting off the day by making some sweet potato avocado toast. I'm filming it on my iPhone to possibly make a TikTok, um, but I'm starving right now. It is currently, what time is it? 10 a.m. 10.06 and I worked out today. I'm so proud of myself. I did like some time on the Stairmaster. I saw this one TikTok about this girl getting shredded just by like doing the Stairmaster. I think she said 10 minutes a day. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it out. And it was so hard, like actually so hard because she said um, she does it at the 10 speed for 10 minutes and I'm like, there's no way. So I tried my best. I did 10 minutes there and then I did a little bit on the treadmill and then I just did a arm workout because it is summertime and I want to look my best and honestly just feel my best. You guys know I've been traveling quite a bit lately and I'm finally just back at home being able to get back into my routine um, and don't really have that much travel planned soon. Actually, I am going home in June. Also, something exciting that's happening today is I'm getting my hair dyed and I'm actually just going darker because I don't know, this like light hair is just, I'm kind of over it, which is kind of sad because I just got it done before Italy, which was a month ago. And I don't know, I just feel like it almost like looks unhealthy and I really wanted to have like that summer lighter color, but I don't know. I think I just need to go back darker, so. I'm gonna go visit Mariana at Culture ATX and we're actually doing a photo shoot because I don't really have anything else to do today. Um, so she was like, hey, can you like be my model and they're gonna partner with like a boutique and stuff. So that will be fun. And what else are we doing today? I need to cut up like all the fruits and vegetables that I have so that I can actually eat them because I feel like if they're, you know, intact and not like cut up, I'm less likely to eat them because when I'm hungry, I just want to like eat something in that moment. Um, so I want to do that this morning. Just cut everything up, seal it real good so it doesn't go bad. Um, and also, I got a package from Sunday Riley. It has like Sunday Riley's brand on top. I've never had like an actual picnic basket, but it's so pretty and it's perfect timing because Memorial Day is next weekend. Actually, when you're watching this, I think it is going to be Memorial Day. And we're planning to go to like this lake access kind of thing. Like we're not going on a boat, but we're gonna do this whole like bring snacks for the whole day. And um, I think it's like near Lake Travis. So I thought this would be so cute to bring like with all our little sandwiches and everything. So um, they're partnering with Downton Abbey, which is so funny because I used to hear this name like when I was growing up. I don't know why, just like, I guess it was a movie. Like they are remaking it, so that's probably why. Anyway, I always thought they were like just pronouncing it wrong. Why is it not Downtown Abbey? But I just realized that it's actually spelled Downton Abbey. So anyways, <laughs> they um, gave us some little cookies and stuff, which I'm like, okay, I'm trying to eat better right now. This is very tempting. Little tea plates, like how freaking cute are these cute cups and there's turmeric ginger green tea in there and then obviously we got the sunday riley makeup pro not makeup products skincare products um oh good jeans isn't here i've actually never tried that oh i've never tried any of these i've only tried the um luna luna oil yes so very excited to try out these products i feel like i have so many skincare products to try though um because i've been getting gifted so often from like the best brands ever, like dream brands that I like, how can I say no to that, you know? Um, but I'm gonna make my way through and try them all out and definitely will report back to you guys. I mean, I actually right now use the Luna oil every night. It's like a, more of like a night oil um, and it has, I wanna say retinol in it. The oven is currently preheating. I'm about to um, put the little sweet potato toast in there. It's super important to like, really cut them very thinly because if you don't then it takes just like forever to cook through um and i'm finally using my new caraway um pans yes i was gonna say like pots but they're not pots they're pans and they are stunning let me show you guys i think my favorite thing about caraway is that they have these like little organizers for everything i have my pots and pans in another cabinet this itself is so nice um so look at this color though I got the cream color and it's just so beautiful. I really want to bake like a cake or like muffins and use like that kind of stuff. Like even there's a banana bread loaf thing back there. 
Um, so yeah, I'm just really happy with the color. I think they're so pretty. My pots are a gray color, um, like almost like the inside of these. I put them in here for 15 minutes on 450. Ooh, got real foggy. <laughs> um, I think they look pretty good. I might have to flip them though. I just cut up so many oranges. My hands are literally cramping, um, but I'm very happy with our knives because they're so sharp. Our old knives just like did not cut it, literally. Um, okay, so we are going to, which one goes where? I think this one is on the juicing side. Yeah. I baked the sweet potatoes, but I'm actually gonna put them in the air fryer really quick just to make them a little bit more crispy. I'm gonna start with just the regular oranges. This is how many I have all peeled and cut this juicer is so fun honestly <laughs> i love it i got it during black friday it's the nama nama j2 juicer definitely pricey but i literally feel guilty wanting to get juices at the grocery store because i'm like okay i could literally just make it at home and it's kind of more fun because you can like create your own kind of flavors and like make it exactly what you want so i'm just going to start with that because no more can fit in there. There we go. Babe, hey, look how good this looks. <gasps> Shut up, that was literally perfect. Next up, we're gonna do some blood orange juice. I'm gonna film this for my TikTok, but I wanted to kind of like explain what I'm doing for this like sweet potato avocado toast thing. This one's definitely not presentable. I'm gonna give it to Ryan, but basically I just put avocado, garlic powder, salt, and then some goat cheese. Oh my God, goat cheese on sweet potato is so freaking good. Highly recommend. So I'm just gonna do the same thing over here and just make it a little bit prettier. Just packed my bag and now I'm going to head over there to the hair salon. It's about 30 minutes away, um, so I think I'm going to listen to a podcast. I have a lot to catch up on. Since I was away for a little bit, I didn't really like do anything that I needed to listen to podcasts because I was with Ryan all the time. But now, since I am working out now, hopefully, hopefully going to stay consistent with that. And just like driving alone, now I can have my time to listen to my podcasts. Andy Blue, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back, should we say. How long how long has it been? Hold on, how old is seven? <laughs> Mariana just gave me a makeover. Yeah, looking beautiful. We went super ashy this time. We've tried a bunch of times and it never comes out, but I think it third time's the charm. Yes, yes, I'm very happy with it. Also, gorgeous, we're here, gorgeous girls. We're here for like, uh, what, are, what, are, what are we even doing? Like a boutique This is a culture. Collab. What yeah. are we doing now? <laughs> it's a culture day for us to kind of like collab and show case our stylists are amazing artists here that's so fun and all their talents it's a time for us to finally show like what we want to do on a client as yeah. opposed to a client always telling us like, hey, oh, this is what cool. i want this is what i want yeah we get to showcase yeah. our our artistry yeah. so nolly i don't care that you want to be <laughs> we're gonna be ashy <laughs> it's like i i you want what i want no, right yeah, no, you do. and then um i have this really cute outfit on blazer set from apricot lane right that's yes it's in the gallery yeah. very cute
so I just got done with the photo shoot and it was very scary honestly at first because <laughs> because it was like so fast that I didn't have like time you know how we like the first outfit we always shoot with each other we're just like hey, yeah like we're, I'm scared yeah and then by the end we get them yeah. like five minutes and we're done exactly so it was kind of like that but I didn't have time to like just chill you know and like ease into it but like he directed me pretty good and he taught us this thing where um to make a model face you put your lips together and then blow out like this and so like i guess i don't know if i did it right but i was like wow i need to remember that because uh that was awesome so yeah photo shoot done i think the pictures turned out really well and now she's gonna wax my face Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> she said I'm a hairy bitch. No, I did <laughs> not. Yeah. I, I said it. I said <laughs> I've been meaning to like actually take care of that. So thank you very much. <laughs> Back home, and here's the new hair. I really like it. I can't wait to like style it on my own, even though this is like beautiful. But I feel like I want to like take photos. It was such a gloomy day, so it's already dark out, so I can't really take the photos that I wanted to. Which sucks because I love the way Mariana does my hair. She curls it with this really, really tiny curling rod and it gives like this really nice beach wave texture. I'm making dinner right now and we had some chicken that we bought last week that I need to make before it goes bad. I guess I could have froze it, but I wanted to eat what I bought. So I am making Sammy Purr's juicy chicken recipe minus the lemon pepper. She's like a TikToker and she like raves about this chicken recipe that she has. I mean, it's pretty simple, um, but basically I'm just going to cook it in the oven. And I've just like been wanting like really juicy, like good chicken recently, which is so weird. And I remembered that this girl had this recipe. So I was like, okay, perfect. Let me try it out. And then I was talking to Mariana about it um, to see if she had any recommendations for like any chicken recipes. And pretty much she said that it would just be better in the oven. And sometimes I like do it in the air fryer or I'll cook it in the pan. And for some reason, I never think to cook chicken in the oven. So I'm gonna try that tonight. What she said to put on it was garlic powder, garlic salt, which is like, damn, that's a lot of garlic, but I'm not complaining because I love garlic and then paprika. And then she also said lemon pepper, which I don't have. I don't know where the frick it is. Maybe like we finish it, I don't know. But yeah, this is dinner tonight. I am like so tired. I don't know why. I guess maybe because I worked out today and I feel like whenever I work out, it's just like always so tiring. Um, or like I get super tired throughout the day or like middle of the day, like two-ish, which is when I left. So I didn't really get to have like my mid like tiredness. <laughs> so now I'm like just so pooped and I'm so ready to take off my makeup, get in my jammies and watch YouTube all night and just like literally do nothing. Um, I think I do have to probably reply to some emails, but other than that, I feel like I'm just gonna have a very chill night with hopefully some really, really good food. I'm very excited about this. This is how the juicy chicken turned out. It looks so good. I actually tasted a bite and it was very yummy. I think I might squeeze some lemon on it too. And then I just made this as my side, just some spinach and tomatoes that were actually going bad. So I'm glad I'm getting to eat them before that happens. Happy Tuesday. Today I finally got my car registered. I woke up super early and like because of COVID and everything, like they only had drive through So it took a while and it was just kind of annoying because when I got there, I, um, gave all my paperwork to them basically the one thing you need is like your emissions test done and so i got it done once i gave him the paperwork he was like this isn't like your cadillac this is for another car and i'm like what do you mean and basically like he was about to tell me to like go back and get the new paper and i was about to like lose it because i was, had already been waiting for 45 minutes at that time but luckily like it was actually like in the system already so he was able to find it like through the online system which thank goodness but it did take kind of a long time to wait for just like the whole process to be done um but it's done and i'm very proud of myself i have my id appointment on thursday which is in two days so got everything ready and it'll be good. I just always feel like the DMV is a scary place because they're always so like mean and condescending. But now that I have everything, should be fine. It should be quick. But today I have an appointment in about an hour and a half. And then what else? What else? I'm doing a shoe, a gender reveal, and I'm really hoping that it doesn't rain. Um, because let's see. Yeah, it starts raining at 8 p.m. The shoot starts at 7:30. So I wonder if I would just be able to like bump up the shoe i need to text the girl right now 
um, and it is currently at 12.37. For the most part, it's been a really productive day. I also forgot to tell you guys, I got my Gel X taken off because I got a gel machine for like myself. I bought it on Amazon and I had one when I was in high school, I think. I gave it away because I could not do it myself but i realized that I, you need to like actually clean up the edges for it to not peel off so i'm going to try it again and see if i can do it better because i did get better at painting my nails in general during quarantine so hoping that it's going to be good because that will save me a buttload of money nails are just so expensive these days even though like i feel like i do a lot of content with my hands so i can definitely justify it in that way like getting my nails done but if it's a cost that I can cut down on and get really good at it, that would be amazing. So I'm going to try it out. I just did my own gel nails at home and they like don't look horrible except for a couple they're kind of like bumpy they're just like really thick and the white nail polish needed literally three coats so it took me forever um but i will link the nail polish that i used and my gel nail machine where is it it's on the floor um but now i'm going to go to a shoot i haven't had a shoot in a while which was kind of nice i got a break after grad season but i'm gonna shoot a gender reveal today and then i think ryan and i are gonna get sushi later yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm gonna head to the boardwalk near on La Lady Bird Lake, and that's where they wanna have the shoot. My shoot went well, and it was a gender reveal, and she was so sweet, and she had a Yorkie that was literally Sophie's age, and literally was just like Sophie, but just a little bit smaller. What is the sound? Yes, I know. I have a bump in my hair. <laughs> Anyways. I'm in my comfies, I took a shower, and now we are at my favorite place on the earth, Sushi Jenai. Oh, you were talking shit about it. I was talking shit because I'm trying to eat healthy, but then he said that I should eat Sushi Jenai, so I'm kidding, it was a mutual decision. But I need sushi in my system, so let's get her done. All right, it's only the background move. This is my favorite roll here, it's the Lisa Lisa, so yum. Spicy tuna, crispy rice, we got salmon holic, final destination, and then all of our nigiri. The nigiri here is like warm rice and it's honestly such a good deal for the price. It's Wednesday, it is currently 2 p.m. and I had like a late breakfast. I actually worked out this morning. I did the Stairmasters again. Stairmaster? Stairmasters? I don't know. Um, and I did like 10 minutes there, then my arm workout, and then again the treadmill. I think I'm gonna try to just like keep up that routine because like I feel like if I do the Stairmaster like every, not every day, but like every time I work out, like it's gonna get easier. So I'm getting hungry. I feel like always around 2 p.m. I either get really tired or really hungry. <laughs> and today it's hungry. Um, and I was thinking like, I kind of wanted something a little bit sweet. You know what sounds really good? Cereal. So I think I'm just gonna do that. All right, I bought this like thing at TJ Maxx. I haven't touched my cereal since I bought it. But, this is mine. I love Honey Bunches of Oats. So good. What's the date, May? What's the, oh, ew. There was like a milk bubble and it popped on my nose. Okay, that definitely smells a little bit sour, so we'll just use my oat milk. So pumped for this you guys have no idea i feel like cereal i always forget about it but it's always so good also i'm wearing another one of my skims boyfriend tees i'm editing my weekend vlog now where i like unbox them but like you guys have to freaking check them out they're so soft i think like one t-shirt is 50 dollars, which for a sleep shirt yeah definitely expensive um but i feel like i could totally style this for an everyday look i think i got a 2xl in this and it's pretty long on me. I feel like today was a productive day, a lot of admin work, um, answering emails, editing a vlog, and Ryan's friend spontaneously flew into Austin, so now we might be getting Terry Blacks with them, which I hate this because 
I was supposed to be eating healthy. Not that I really have like other dinners to make because um, we like ran out of like our meats and stuff. Um, but it's hard to pass up carry black. See, this is my issue. I have no willpower. It is Thursday and today I'm doing something very important, very exciting. Actually not exciting because I didn't want to do this, um, but I'm getting my Texas ID and I'm finally saying bye to my Georgia license. Honestly, it's kind of like sad, but exciting because I've been here for a while and I'm just like, it's about time. Um, in June, it's going to be three years in Austin, Texas, so I thought I needed to get my ID. Actually. I thought I had to get my ID to get my car re-registered, but I came here um, and found out that you actually had to get your car registered before you got your ID. So I don't even know if I really have to have a Texas ID, but I made this appointment and I was like, I'll just get it over with um, because it was a freaking hassle to make this appointment. I had to wait in line over here to get my appointment for the next week. And like, if you make an appointment online, it's like all the way booked out until September. So I'm like, what the heck? It just was stupid. Um, because of like COVID and stuff, I guess they're only doing appointments and not walk-ins. So I'm just filling out an application and I don't even know like what county I was born in. I know I was born in Jacksonville, Florida, but I don't know what county. So that is interesting. Um, just texted my mom to ask her I hope she's not on a call or anything it's also weird because I'm putting my like apartment address on my ID but I know I'm gonna move out like it's inevitable you know it's not like a home that I'm putting and I've always had like a home on my ID that's weird I also get so nervous when someone hands me like a paper and a pen to write with like in a doctor's office or something like that um, because I like never write with a pen or a pencil because I'm always on the computer um, and then I'm like so insecure about my handwriting and <laughs> I'm just like ah do I even remember how to write with a freaking pen I think I'm all done I'm gonna probably bring this pen in with me so I have it in case my mom answers and then I hope it goes by fast since I did make an appointment and I don't have to like wait for my turn. Well, technically I still have to wait, but I have to check in first. Ryan already has his Texas ID and when I came with him, <laughs> it took forever. I always like to come to this type of stuff like super early in the morning to get it over with, you know. I feel like there's the least lines in the morning and we came midday and I was so mad at him because I was like, I told you, like, let's go in the morning. Um, so we just waited there for so long but I think I'm gonna bring in my headphones just in case <laughs> and we're off to get our Texas ID I got my new Texas ID so does this make me like an official Texas resident or what I actually really like my photo and it was funny because I was um, posing for it and I was like doing like the head tilt thing for some reason I just think this is like my better side so I like kind of like tilt my head and he was like um you have to like put your head straight <laughs> like we can't do glamour shots and I was like you're telling me I did full glam for nothing <laughs> but I well I probably I probably shouldn't show you guys um but I'll like insert a picture of it and apparently Texas IDs are black and white which is so rude like come on now my skin is beautiful. Why can't you just show off my skin color? But um, I also went for a soft smile this time. The other ID had like a full big smile, but I just, <sighs> it was too early to like, you know, do all that. I feel like I still look, well now I look a little bit better, but I took a picture um, earlier and I looked really puffy when I was like full smile. So anyways, I'm very happy with my picture 
and the whole thing took about 30 minutes which isn't horrible but like gosh dang he really spent his time doing like all the paperwork and everything and when i got there i freaked out because i couldn't find my insurance thing that i had printed out and i was like oh god like he's about to send me home like i feel like you know all these offices always want things printed out they're so like olden day type people anyways i was very lucky because they actually just had like an email that you could send it to um but we found it it was actually like wrapped up in my registration since i had just gotten my registration and i need to show my insurance so anyways i got it done and i got my car registered and honestly those two things have been on my to-do list like it's kind of scary how long they've been on my to-do list so i won't say how long um but i'm so happy i can finally cross that off because it's been a weight on my shoulder to be honest um and thank god i didn't get pulled over for my car because in georgia i actually did one time it was literally in december and my mom like always used to get our cars registered so like she had to go get it done and stuff like that and basically she was like in the process of getting it done when i got pulled over and i was like okay my mom is literally like doing it as we speak pretty much um so i was able to get a pass but like georgia's registration stickers are on the license plate in the back of the car so like it's easy for like a cop to like follow you and check but in texas they make you put it like right here which is kind of like the ugliest place because it's also royal blue i'm like does that really need to be there um but anyways it's on the front of the car so the cops can't really see it i mean this is bad advice that i'm giving but anyways i'm gonna go home um probably try to like start editing my week in my life vlog maybe just do some computer work um and then i'm meeting my friend hannah for matcha at a new matcha place that i've been wanting to go to for so long so i'm happy i'm vlogging i'm about to head out for my matcha date and i want to show you guys my outfit really quick i feel like i could like add something to this but with my purse over it like i feel like it's okay um and i don't really feel like i need to dress super freaking cute um but this top is kind of like a blue striped shirt kind of vibe it's from shop red dress i hope it's still in stock i got it last summer but i remember seeing it in stock earlier this year and then i'm wearing these shoes from dolce vita super cute they have like a really nice well actually my toes aren't done so i don't really want to show but they have this cute canvas texture um i showed it in like my packing for italy vlogs um and then my hair's looking really flat today but I am going to head out the door and super excited to finally try this place. It's only open like Monday, wait, Thursday to Monday. So like Tuesday to, wait, oh, is it only closed Tuesday to Wednesday? Maybe, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes it's just weird because like in Austin, there are so many like small or local owned businesses that they get to choose their hours which is awesome for them but then like the days that you're like oh dang i really want this but it's not even open i don't know i just feel like they have like some weird funky hours around town how freaking cute is this i'm obsessed I really hope it's good, so I can keep coming back. And we're matching it. I know, green and blue. I got mine a little bit sweeter, like always. What? So good. Wait, what? So good. This that is even like water. perfectly sweet. Yeah, the coconut Refreshing. water. Refreshing. Mm. We'll definitely be coming back. <laughs> I want to say today has not been really a productive day for me, but like honestly, I did like the biggest thing on my to-do list for so long, which is getting my ID and I got that done. So I'm going to mark it as a good day, but we are feeling hungry. I think we're going to get some Chipotle because that kind of sounds like it will hit the spot. And I also contacted a travel agent because Ryan and I want to take a beach trip most likely around his birthday which is like in the middle of june which i know is coming up pretty dang fast um so i was kind of scared about like the prices because it's like you know right in the middle of summer where everyone wants to take a beach vacation so i told her my budget i gave her like my um top three requirements i told her that the food has to be really really good 
um, and that the place has to be aesthetic. And then I also just asked if, um, what did I ask about? I can't even remember. I guess those are my top two requirements. And then also just like that it's adult only because I feel like because I don't have kids, I'm not trying to have kids around me. She sent over some places that she thought would be good and I was actually shocked by the prices um, because it was like under my budget. So we're still going back and forth on emails um, and I'll keep you guys updated if we actually book it or not. I'm really hoping to because all I've been craving is to just like jump in some water. Um, and by water, I mean like an actual ocean, but I'm also worried about June being like the seagrass or like the, what, are, what is it even called? Seaweed, June grass. And I looked it up and it's actually called sar, sargasso over there, which maybe it's seaweed in Spanish. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> basically, um, last June, I just saw so many TikToks on my For You page of people like just in Cancun not knowing that this was happening and obviously they probably booked their vacations before they knew that this was a thing but now that I know I'm like okay I need to make sure we're going to a resort that maybe the seagrass doesn't like reach or they clean it up every day because I've heard that some resorts are really good about like raking it every day which is that that's a lot of effort but I love I love it <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're just trying to figure that out. Really, really hope we book it. It's gonna be like for six days, I think five nights. So I feel like that will be like the perfect amount of time to go. Update, while we were getting Chipotle, my travel agent emailed me back and said that the one we were like leaning towards is already sold out. Like all of the five rooms that were left are booked. And that sucks because that was like the only one really out of the options she gave us that I was kind of liking um she did give us one other option that i'm like Neh, about because i'm not really sure like the food especially like i just want to eat some good food good morning happy friday i'm up early it is almost 7 20 a.m and today i'm going to a fun on weekdays event it is at skybox i believe and it's going to be like a workout class and then we get acai bowls after and i'm Apparently a lot of girls are going, so I'm excited to like meet new friends. I'm going with my friend Jackie, and I think our friend Angela is gonna go too, so we might meet up with her hopefully. Um, but I wanted to get there like super early since there are so many girls coming, and luckily Ryan offered to drive us because I was like, I don't even know like where to park downtown when there's that many people in like one spot. I'm not too familiar with garages. I just usually do like the street parking in Austin. Jenna Palak is the one who's hosting it. This is her podcast fun on weekdays. And I actually took her podcast cover art. I will pop it up here. And she is honestly just like the nicest person ever and she's killing it. So it makes me so happy that I can finally attend one of her events. But I'm gonna get going. I think Jackie's gonna be here in like two minutes. the dance workout and it was actually so much fun like it wasn't as hard of a workout class it was honestly more dance which i personally liked because literally the first squat i got down i was like oh god here we go but it wasn't that bad i'm kind of curious to see how many calories i burned from that dance workout because i'm like damn if i do that every single day like that's fun it doesn't even like feel like working out i think i burned like 509 which is pretty good for not like killing myself well i don't know if i'll be sore tomorrow i got to see my friend jackie and then we met up with our other friend angela and then we met her friend sadie and then i saw my friend hallie and then i saw jenna of course and it was just so fun and also hallie invited me to soho house to go chill at the pool i think hannah's gonna be there from yesterday too so it's just like such a fun couple of days just seeing all my girlfriends and that just makes me so happy um so i am going to bust out some editing i'm gonna like lock myself in this room and then try to just like edit a little bit of my week in my life vlog the vlog you're watching so that i can chill tomorrow and sunday because it is a holiday weekend technically but i have a early morning shoot on monday so i can't go too crazy but tomorrow is the lake day and i'm gonna vlog it so definitely look out for that vlog and if you guys are in austin I highly recommend you guys follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting about like random things to do in the city or just like 
new restaurants to try um, and I also save them all to like my Austin food highlights and then there's also one called just ATX I believe. I think I need to make a new one though. It's getting a little long. So um, definitely go follow me. It's so underscore gnarly without the G, especially if you guys are new to the city or even if you've been here for a while, I feel like there's always something new popping up. And like even me just driving down the street, especially on 7th Street, there's always like a new restaurant or a, a new, I don't know, just building. And I'm like, wait, that was not there like two weeks ago. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna knock out this editing. And then we will treat ourselves to a pool day. Here's my outfit for Soho House. I'm not feeling like amazing about myself in a swimsuit right now, which sucks because it's literally like summer and I'm going to be in a swimsuit every single day of the weekend, I feel like. Um, but this swimsuit was from Aerie last summer and I love Aerie swimsuits, honestly. Like, they're one of my favorites. And this thing is from Princess Polly. I literally almost had a meltdown because I couldn't find this exact white button down. And this is the one I prefer out of all of mine because it's like see-through. It's more like flowy and beachy. Um, and then my gold day shorts. And then these sunglasses, I don't know where they're from. Maybe Amazon? But just got my hair up because it looks disgusting. I like tried to take it down for my high pony. Mm -mm. I showered, I did my makeup, and I'm in the middle of filming a sponsored TikTok, but I got a really exciting package from Amazon and I wanted to unbox it on camera, so let's do it. So I got the iPad keyboard and I've been actually eyeing this for so long. Just because I feel like whenever I want to do emails or something like not editing, pretty much anything that's not editing, which is kind of a lot like just admin work. I always want to work from my couch or literally anywhere else except for my desk. And this is such a first world problem to be honest, but it's such a hassle to bring all the cords with my laptop and my dongles and like my whole laptop somewhere else other than my desk. So since I already had an iPad, I thought I would just go ahead and get the like actual Apple keyboard um, and it's so sleek and cool like this thing just m pops right on it's like a magnet so bam and I don't know if you have to charge this or what oh yeah I think you do because hmm. it has a little USB-C thing on that side I wonder how you like see how much charge is on this um, because Another thing that's amazing about my iPad is that the battery actually lasts so much longer than my computer and I get that there's like a lot of applications running but I literally bought this computer for the reason of it being long lasting with battery. So I'm going to make sure that I get better with emails and just like reply a lot sooner because I've just been slacking on that and I don't know. This is just going to be like a really good setup, like a good portable setup um, and then it can just close. And it's protected because I didn't really have an iPad case anyways. So I'm hyped about it. I was going to get the white one, but then I was thinking if I want to like do emails on the couch, let's say maybe it'll be like after dark. I don't want something like too bright when I look at the keyboard, if that makes sense. Like I don't want my eyes to be like blinded when I'm looking at the keyboard. So I decided to get the black. It was overnight shipping. Amazing and I will link it in the description box. It's currently 8.43 and I have been like hungry for the past five hours, <laughs> basically trying to eat everything in my apartment, but there's not really anything to eat. So I've just been eating like random things that don't satisfy me. And I was trying to just like wait for Ryan, um, but he went to the golf course while I was filming my sponsored TikTok. And I totally forgot when he plays golf, like he usually gets home when it's dark outside. But he is currently at HEB because we're gonna cook some dinner. Actually, he's gonna cook some dinner. Oh. Welcome home. LaCroix and Sprite. He's like the only one they have, an orange. I guess everyone's stocking up for Memorial Day weekend, yeah, huh? Has to be. I was craving spray. I told Ryan I was like twitching without it. It's like an addiction. But I never have it at home. Like I only really have it at restaurants and it's so good. But um I think we're gonna make steak tonight, right Ry? Oh, those look good. The steak looks good. The 
the oven's heating but tater tots too i wanted mashed potatoes but he apparently does not like mashed potatoes so what I hate mashed potatoes. sometimes i realize ryan's pickier than i thought he was picky. It's not good. they are good what do you mean i mean tater tots are fine but i feel like they're not like steak sides well i guess they can be you can really have whatever fucking side you want Why did it do that? I did not fucking shake it. Damn it. So be come with this. You like Sprite, don't you? That's good. <laughs> so good. 